This week's episode of Cribs takes us to Funny or Die's hilarious headquarters in Los Angeles, California. You may know the site from such videos as Between Two Ferns and Drunk History, but it's the 25,000 square foot production house where the fun starts. I met up with several amusing characters this time around to ask them what it's like to work where everyone's a comedian. I actually wasn't here two years ago when we last visited, but this right. is a brand new space right. that you're in. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the new space? Yeah, that um, clearly our business has been growing and not unlike many businesses, we outgrew our space. And so when we were looking around, we wanted to find a space that obviously was big enough to accommodate all the various things we do, but also really reflected who we are and sort of the culture. And I don't know if people can see it as we walk by that like one of the things, there's no wall here. At the, at the, at, you know, it looks unfinished. This is on purpose. That, that's on purpose. We're not waiting for the wall board to show up. We paid the bills and <laughs> all of that. But the, and the reason was we wanted, and we said to the architect, we want to look that is very comfortable, but isn't slick, is it? We're, we're the renegades, we're not the old established corporate you're, You've giant. exposed the wall, you're... So we've okay. exposed the wall, which is sort of what we do. And, and uh, the architect sort of didn't believe it, and he sent over a photograph that he sent over, he swears wasn't a joke, but I know it was a joke, of a guy with a milk crate and his computer on it and an unfinished wall behind him. He said, oh, so is this what you're looking for? And I said, exactly. At our core, you know, creativity and content drives the business. So we want to create an environment that even, you know, whether it's an accountant or it's a writer, that they have that sense that we're trying to create some great content and then obviously distribute it out through a lot of different products. We have also tried to maintain as we've grown that culture of uh, uh, being very entrepreneurial, very um, kind of whatever the antithesis of slick is, just, you know, get it done kind of ethos. Here's Dashiell. Hi Dashiell, I've got to run off to Amy. It was good to see you, thank you so much. You're in good hands. All right, thank you. Funny or Die is not only a fun place to work, but also a lull-worthy place to be. Not kidding, the bathrooms are full of funny quotes and pictures of comedians, among other perks like mints, candles, floss, perfumes, lotions, and even contact solution. Well, tell me what a typical day is like at Funny or Die. We, uh, we all come in and start our day, and generally each sort of department that's in charge of creative stuff talks about what's on their mind and what's in the news. And uh, it's a really collaborative environment, um, super fun and, and casual. And this is our celebrity wall of signatures. So when people come in, uh, they like to sign the wall. And we actually had a really extensive uh, signature collection at the old office. And when we moved, there was a big talk of how are we going to, what are we going to do? We had someone come in and professionally photograph it, and then like re-put up the wall over on the other side of the office. So it's, they're still intact. There's some pretty impressive uh, illustrations and signatures there. And some people tell stories or just draw something or just put their name up. You know, they get creative with it. Great. Well, let's uh, let's keep it going. Let's keep the tour let's going. Let's keep this good vibe going. And now we are back at reception. Oh, Who that is Ricky's special room for just me, Ricky. That <laughs> was that from about? a video shoot several weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It has not come down, and I would guess it's not coming down anytime soon. It was lovely showing you around the office. I have to go plug plug this guy back in. Uh, but so nice to see you again. And I think Chris is gonna show you the studio. Oh, hey Chris. Hello. Funny or Die is on a studio lot that sandwiches with OWN, Oprah's network. But the building has a history going back to the days of Charlie Chaplin. MGM bought the property from United Artists at one point, and now a real estate trust has taken over to house Funny or Die and other media companies. So I know Dashiell sort of showed you upstairs here but we have a whole downstairs of the office that I'm gonna take you through now. Great, okay. All right, so here we go. Okay. The room we have in here right now, this is our talent holding hair and makeup wardrobe. So on any given day, we might have um, some talent here, maybe some recognizable celebrities getting ready for what they're gonna do, um, trying on wardrobe. Zach Galifianakis getting makeup? Potentially, potentially. We kind of use every single area of the office for, for as a set. So this room here that's a, it's a hair and makeup room, that might actually be uh, uh, a 
the hair salon when we do Game of Thrones, our web series, which is a recap of Game of Thrones. So this is our fourth office that we've had in the history of the company, and therefore this is our fourth studio that we've had. Our first one was actually this tiny little barn out back behind our office, but over the years, as our we've needed more space, we've been able to have better and better sort of studio spaces as well. And this is the first time we've actually been able to completely custom design a space that works really well for us. Um, so this is, um, as you can see, we've got green screen here. It's psyched. We can build sets here. We've got flats. We've got all the different kinds of lighting and the equipment that we need. And this thing has been everything from um, a family, uh, from a dining room table for Thanksgiving dinner to a hospital bed uh, room to a, a courtroom. Um, and in fact, this is, uh, uh, where we actually film Between Two Ferns as well, the uh, the, the popular uh, Zach Galifianakis series. Whatever you have going on down here, how quickly can you take that to the rest of the team and then turn that around? Yeah, I mean, we can move very, very quickly depending, I guess, on what the project is, right? But let's say that somebody said something dumb in a debate and all you need is a lectern and to be able to drop something in, um, in post and green screen behind them. We can come up with the idea that morning write it, shoot it in the afternoon, and have it out and live on our site that evening, and have it pushed through all of our different social channels all over the world. 